Tanner, what have your first impressions of this this rivalry been so far? Um, historic, uh, passionate, um, longest uh, rivalry been played, right? Since 1890. I think most played. Yeah, yeah. Most 18, played. I mean, that's obviously has a ton of history. It means a lot to both these states and both these programs. So. Really excited. Yeah. Uh, What's it like for you as a new guy coming in and, and trying to get the grasp of it? Obviously, you have. I mean, yeah. you get the, the stats and everything, but um, for you and, and other guys that have transferred in here, trying to understand what it means to the people. Um, yeah, I mean, I obviously wasn't as familiar with it um, until I got here, and that's one of the first things you learn uh, when you walk into the door is, uh, you know, what this rivalry means to this place and what it means to them. So um, it's, it's been awesome uh, learning about it. Um, um, I'm ready for you. You feel like there's a different edge this week, guys. You know, older guys that have been here that have experienced it. Do you see a different approach from those guys? Yeah, I mean, I think um, we got a little extra energy in the building, a little, little more pep in our step. Uh, we know what's at stake, and, and we need to get that ice back. How does Wisconsin handle rivalries different than SMU and Oklahoma? Um, I mean, they're all different. I mean. Um, I think I think we all all, all places have, have respected the rivalry. Um, you know, Oklahoma, the, the Texas rivalry, obviously is, is a really big one um, at, at SMU. People aren't as familiar with it, um, but the TC rivalry was really big, especially when uh, Coach Dykes went from SMU to TC. Um, I mean, it's all it's always very emotional, uh, a lot of energy, uh, a lot of passion, and. I, mean, I obviously expect nothing less for for Saturday. You know, draws have been a really big, effective play for you guys. And it seems like you're keeping defenses off balance with it. When you were getting recruited here, that was maybe the biggest part of your game in your pick career. Is that something that Coach Longo talked to you about, like that ability to utilize those? Uh, not really much when I was getting recruited uh, to come here. Um, yeah, I mean, I've ran the ball a little bit more this year. I think it's just kind of uh, taking what the defense is giving me, uh, just trying to execute whatever Coach Longo has in front of me. And I think it's just been like uh, uh, kind of the, the right play at the right time for, for us. Um, but yeah, I like it. What's kind of the key to selling those? Because we've seen defenses really fly back and you're able to take advantage of it. I think it's uh, the defense has to respect um, what we do on offense, you know. Um, I think we're pretty balanced as far as running and passing. Or, close to as balanced as we can be, so I think they have to kind of respect both, and I think that kind of is what opens up on that quarterback throw. Coach Nichols talked about how dangerous you are on those plays, and I mean, Saturday we saw you get pretty am animated after a couple of those first downs run runs. What kind of juice do you feel like that brings the team? I mean, your O-line, your other guys, to see yeah. like, hey, I'm willing to put my head down and go get it. I mean, I think it just kind of shows them. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever it is to, to help the team, as as my teammates are as well. So um, I think it's it's something that any of us would do. I'm just in a uh, position that has the opportunity to do it. Um, yeah, I love it when my guys get juiced up. Braylon mentioned that maybe Coach Longo doesn't want to admit it, but going into a super cold game like this weekend, that maybe is a little bit better option to run it more than throw it. Do you think that's going to be uh, something we could expect to see Saturday? Um, Kickoff's going to be 33, right? Something like that. <laughs> about freezing, we're good. <laughs> Are you surprised Braylon said that? No, <laughs> no of course not. <laughs> As you've studied, started to study them, what stands out about Minnesota's defense? They've been one of the better units in this conference for a while now. Um, I think they're a really disciplined group. They fly around, they're really aggressive. Um, they can tackle really well. Um, I think they're just well-rounded defense. Yeah. Yeah. And what stood out about you know, some of the things on the way see Saturday, but just the way he's really progressed this season as well. Um, I, think, I think he's done a tremendous job. You know, he's kind of been labeled as uh, you know, just a speed guy. I like, you know in the past, <laughs> just like little passes and jump sweeps and things of that sort. Um, but this, I think, will really show that he can do it all. He's a uh, well rounded receiver, and I don't think he has a lot of weaknesses. So I've been really proud of him, the way he stepped up. I was looking at it trying to figure out, do you still have one more year of eligibility? It's so confusing with all the COVID oh, yeah, stuff. Yeah. No, I'm rest. That's it. No, I didn't yeah. know if the third year of Obama yeah. counted or not. No, no, no. No, no, no it didn't. That's, that's the reason why I'm, I'm able to be here now. Got you. Okay. Year, yeah. It's so confusing with all the COVID stuff. No, I hear you. I hear you. Put them out there. It's all kind of different right now. But yeah, this is it.
What does that mean? Does that add any extra? Like, what are your kind of emotions going into you building know, this last regular season game? Uh, I mean, I think you know I'm gonna play like I like I always do. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave anything out there. I'm gonna give everything I got because that's what uh, my guys around me deserve. It's, it's my own, so that's what they're gonna give me. Apologies, Abe. You know, it's not someone else now, but you know, with with the rivalry, just I know you're six-year players here. 